Hello, hope this is reaching you well. This is Ken here from RD Labs. Um, basically today we're gonna talk about ZK Sync, uh, which essentially is a, a ZK roll-up, um, a trustless protocol built on um, layer two that ultimately util utilizing cryptographic to be able to increase scalability, increase TPS transactions per second, decrease fees um, within the, the Ethereum uh, ecosystem. This is quite a, a, a phenomenal um, project that they're trying to build. So I just want to walk you through the process so you understand more about what they're trying to do, um, the impact it's going to have, understand more about Rollup, ZK Sync, uh, their ecosystem, Known about how to be able to learn about how to be able to move money over to um, to ZK Sync, and then know about the projects that's basically listing or about to list within the ecosystem. So let's get straight to it. Uh, so here under ZK Sync, this is their Twitter. They just launched the um, ZK Sync era mainnet that was launched last week, and then here just breaks down their ultimate vision. It's not just about TPS scaling Ethereum in the UX. But really about building like a trustless, barrelless econo um, economic co corporation, which is interesting. So they started about four years, inception about four years ago. They already built ZK Sync Lite, which basically is a roll up for payments. They've can spent more than $3 million thus far in audits, security audits, which is really, really important. Um, so you can spend some time to go through that now. Uh, so we have some background knowledge so you can understand in terms of what essentially rollups they have a glossary um, kind of like their docs section here I will add all this material in the notes uh, so you can be able to go through in your own time but it basically just walks you through in terms of what rollups are in terms of increasing scalability and for, for transactions to occur off chain via one single batch um, and it walks you through the categories that are broken down into ZK rollups, one, ZK sync, loopring, um, and then optimistics such as Arbitrum, Optimism. So you can go through that. Um, and then here gives you a, an overview of an introduction into ZK sync era, what they're trying to build. So basically, here it walks you through the whole process. Um, and it's, as I said, just like Ethereum smart contracts are written in Solidity. Viper um, and basically it's EVM compatible, which is really important, especially um, for developers that want to build upon that and develop their own interesting projects. And it goes a breakdown in terms of overview. So users can be able to receive deposit transfer assets to each other. You can be able to withdraw assets under control to an L1 address. So it goes through the whole process. Then you can understand more about hyperscaling the transactions, the blocks, um, account abstraction, which is quite phenomenal in terms of important feature, I believe, which enable you to be able to customize, um, essentially having your, your, your own account and make customizations and, and certain rules for that, which is really, really interesting. And I believe this is the future. Um, and then you can just walk, you know, work your way through that um, there. Uh, so then we've got the ecosystem aspect. So this is basically their site. Um, and the ecosystem here shows you a breakdown in terms of what's currently live, such as Argent, which is essentially a wallet, similar to like MetaMask. And then it goes like DeFi's infrastructure payment. So you can just go through a host. So even though it was just launched recently, you can already see all of these projects that's been, um, that's currently um, basically integrating their features, integrating their projects onto um, is ZK Sync's mainnet. So you can see there's massive demand taking place already within the ecosystem. So spend some time to go through that. Then you've got the Explorer. So this is similar to like Etherscan, similar to like Binance Scan. You can be able to take a look at last batches, last transactions. You can be able to essentially paste your address to be able to see the last transactions that took place here. I'm sure they're going to add some more features uh, very soon uh, within that. And then in terms of the bridge, so it's quite a simple way to do it. This is the, the bridge, the official um, ZK Sync era bridge, where you can be able to um, connect your MetaMask wallet, for example, and then you can be able to move Ethereum, um, ETH, 
or you could be able to break down here, whatever you want to be able to move. You can move ETH um, or and then move that over to the mainnet. So you can see I actually moved over some funds already last week. Uh, you know, we're not playing about here. <laughs> um, and then, you know, it's always about, it's important, especially in this space, is to really test new blockchains out. That's how you grow. That's how you learn. That's how when you're early to projects, ultimately uh, to support the ecosystem. And then also to be able to, um, as a financial aspect as well, when you're early to certain projects. So when you want to deposit funds, it takes about five minutes. I'm sure it will obviously, the, 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 it'll, the, it'll be quicker within in time, just so that you're aware. Um, and then also you can be able to withdraw. There is another way, another bridge called the Arbiter Bridge, which is quicker in terms of the speed, um, time speed here, 45 seconds. Um, and also it seems to be slightly cheaper. Uh, however, something to, to note for those who are interested in receiving a potential airdrop when um, ZK Sync launches their token, if they do, I think they will in the future, um, then I'm not too sure whether they'll take moving funds over via this bridge into consideration because it's a separate entity. So just as a, a riskless type opportunity, I would definitely recommend just use the bridge ZK official bridge initially anyway to start moving funds over. So so we basically cover that. So when you want to go through the whole process to essentially interact, um, then what you need to do for your MetaMask, you would then set, essentially open a MetaMask wallet. This is the whole process for the RPC on the mainnet and also testnet. Basically just then just follow this whole process you add a network manually then you can be able to add these credentials so it's supported and then you can essentially then um then we, then you could be able to then check on your metamask under zk sync era mainnet that the funds are there okay so that's clear from that side in terms of taking a look at what's currently happening um you can be able to go to DeFi uh, Liama, which is pretty good gives you a full breakdown and then under the this tab here search tab just just type in zk which i've already done and it essentially comes up here and it shows you a breakdown of the tvl total value locked at the moment which projects are doing extremely well the change so you can see zk uh, z uh, sync swap basically is which is a dex um which is currently doing extremely well it shows here and it shows the, um, let's just see here. So let's go to that. Uh, Sync swap shows you the total value lock, $25 million, but you can see the growth, right? Just from the inception to where it is now. So that's leading, but obviously as you're aware, there will be other, you've got mute.io, you've got space, you've got gem. So these are just different. So DEXs to derivatives, on-chain trade and so on and so forth. So this is to keep an eye out on certain projects that's launching. And it's not just, okay, I'm seeing that ZK um, Sync Swap's doing well, so I want to buy. Well, if you want to receive an airdrop and, and that's your focus, yeah, you might want to add an LP to ZK uh, to Sync Swap here. Um, and then, then basically you can be able to then connect your wallet. You can be able to deposit in the pool here if you want to do that. That might help you in terms of legibility. Uh, but essentially just to play around with these various pro um, ecosystems, these various projects to see exactly what's going on. And this should be a part of your filter. So as we do within RD Labs, um, we have certain criteria that you want these to follow before looking to enter or to invest in any project. So I definitely implore that you do the same. It doesn't change irrespective of the ecosystem, the blockchain, whatever you're looking to, to invest in. Okay, so that basically covers that aspect there. And you can be able to monitor it to see that whole process. Then what I would definitely recommend here, there's also L2 Beat. L2 Beat shows you where we are in terms of um, the various uh, scaling. You've got bridges here, categories. You've got Arbitrum, Optimism. Um, you've got ZK Sync Lite, Lite, so the various roll-ups. And you've got ZK Sync Era here. So if we click on that. 
So it gives you a breakdown of the total value lot so far. So this is basically gone up 135%. And the TPS daily, so it's interesting to see whether this will increase in time, it should do. And then a breakdown in terms of sequency failures, uh, validators, data availability. So it really goes into, so those that are really tech heavy, this is an area that to really look at. And then you can be able to see that movement and change of where we are there and have a better understanding. So these are all these various metrics that's really important to be able to read through uh, and understand uh, where we are. It's also important to take a look at the GitHub to see what's happening, the code that's been committed by the developers to, to see whether there's growth that's taking place within the ecosystem. So all these various things are very, very, very important. Um, and we'll be tracking this. Uh, what we'll be doing, obviously we do with RD Labs, we'll be looking for projects within this ecosystem that we rec that we'll be putting out to our community to, to essentially invest, to look at, you know, allocating some funds and, and taking part in there. So this is early, extremely bullish about what ZK Sync's doing. They've raised hundreds of millions of dollars. They've been building for many, many years. They're really onto something. So um, as a contributor, um, someone that's a really important part of the tech, someone that wants to make money, really to take advantage of what's happening. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, I'll be adding more content on a regular basis moving forward. Um, so on to another one. Take care.